and traditional schooling, time is the constant. Students are working on the same chapter, talking about the same thing on the same day. They take a quiz, some succeed, some don't, then they move on. Those who didn't, let's say in a math class, there's a gap. As they move on, those gaps just increase and increase and increase. In mastery learning, we flip the model so that learning becomes the constant and time becomes the variable. Right now, mastery is mainly incorporated into my advanced study statistics class. They start with one assignment. Once they turn that in, they can move to the next one and work at their own pace. We've been able to retake all of our tests and quizzes until we feel like comfortable with our grade. And they would have options if you can either go into the classwork or stay for like a further lesson if you need that extra help. With the mastery approaches, you have to anticipate that kids are going to learn at different speeds. You have to set that up in the classroom so they have the time to attempt things, to fail when needed, and then to learn from their mistakes and continue on with the assignment. In Maker's Lab, it's totally okay to make mistakes because you end up learning from them. And it's not one of those things where if you make a mistake, you get a bad grade. You get infinite chances to redo it until it's to the best of your ability because of that mastery concept and because they want you to do the best that you can in the way that you know how. The second part of mastery is the, is the ability to apply the acquired knowledge in novel situations. In the classroom, meaning is that chemistry has to be relatable to either real world topics or issues because if it's not relatable, then they're not going to be passionate about it and they're not going to pursue it to the degree that I want them to. I like to paint and I've learned that, you know, through painting, you have, there's different processes of drying paint, like by oxidizing. So that helped me learn about my own interests and told me how I can be a better artist. I think meaning is actually what it's all about. The students have a lot of enthusiasm to undertake initiative in their learning. I've been doing a deep research dive into the field of men's mental health because I think it is a topic that is not talked about enough in current day society. I'm very interested in psychology and psychiatry. So this just further, I think, implements that and is what I'm hoping to continue to do in college. I'm making a sex education curriculum because I want to become an OBGYN when I'm older. I'm just trying to find like an answer to family planning in some ways or just like help with premature births or like find um, more solutions to like having healthier and safer pregnancies. To have that meeting with the project where they're able to kind of take ownership of what they're doing, but then also be able to articulate what did you learn, what did you walk away with, not only with just the, the technical skills, but also the product management and those types of things that, that help them be successful. Our design challenge was to make a piece of cardboard furniture. Our only parameters were that it had to be within a four by four by four foot box. It definitely allows for a lot of creativity on the students' part. There's a fair amount of reflection, a fair amount of shared feedback conversations. And especially in the technology field, uh, you know, we're preparing students for jobs that don't exist or are going to evolve to something that we're not even really anticipating right now. So it's, it's, it's always about the process. So how can we go through something and have them learn and learn from their mistakes and learn from failures and then to come up with something that's going to create a solution to a problem. The more they learn this way, the more they learn how they learn, and the more they learn about themselves. And what the research says, even above the importance of mastery learning, is learning how to learn is the most important thing any high school can give a kid. We want them to graduate with that knowledge. When we do, they will arrive in college far ahead of their classmates because they will have uh, solved a sort of conundrum, a personal conundrum that many of us, especially adults, even adults, we still haven't figured that part out. I imagine Mercedesburg being a place where students are learning right alongside the teacher. I imagine more internships, more field experiences. When someone feels autonomous, when someone feels like they're learning something, when someone feels like they have purpose, get out of their way. Meaning sets all those things up and mastery carries it along.